Bloomies are forever. Hi friends, I'm Melissa and I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> I wanted to film a video of my first time back in the thrift shops in quite some time. Yesterday I specifically went to our local thrift shop for no good reason. Masks still in place. I'm doing okay. And I found a ton of stuff and some bunch of things. Some bunch, some bunches, some things for my husband who's been needing them. He finally got some more jobs. If you didn't know, I've got like lines all over my skin from sleeping so hard. Um, he plays music, he's a musician. That's what that's called. And he's at a lot of different retirement communities and restaurants and of course with the old V word, I don't know why I said that, um, everything was shut down there for a while but everything has started to be picking back up here in Florida and he needed a second pair of giant shorts. The man will wear this exact khaki. Um, shorts it's Florida so he needs shorts year-round the only thing is he's six foot six so they need to be long <laughs> and to get them that long I have to buy them a lot wider so I've already taken these in they could be taken in a lot more but I think he's just gonna belt them at this point they're the Wrangler I should probably have checked to see what I could have resold these for that's okay um, the Wrangler ones, yeah, I don't know why I didn't do that, but I knew he needed a second pair. His his pair he wears all the time was just on its last leg. Like, it's starting to shred on the bottom. Wasn't sure how I was going to fix that. So, got these for $2.60 or something like that. They were $5.19 half off. They're now doing a half off color. It is yellow this week. So excited. Last time I went there... That wasn't happening so it's still a boutique still overpriced and you'll see that with some of these next shirts sorry i'm just going to be distracted for a little bit so either continue to lay in bed or do this <laughs> i wanted to do this so he's six foot six he plays gigs outdoors indoors but he needs short sleeve button down shirts with a pocket that's that's his uh mo and they need to be lightweight. He's not going to keep this one. I'll have this one up on eBay, but I had to take a chance. They wanted $10.79 for these shirts. They This one's a 3XL. Some of them are 2X tall. Those fit him pretty well. If he's drumming, he sometimes drums. He, he'd like to drum more. Um, he needs a little bit of a looser fit so he can swing the drumsticks. If he's just playing, just playing piano or guitar and singing the other ones fit fine but he did not like this print i don't know why because you'll see there's almost an identical print so it's white with like olive and orange fish he's not a fish guy he wouldn't want to kill the fish um so we don't fish but he liked this one which has fish. <laughs> I guess he just didn't like the colorway. So this one is Columbia, same size, uh, same price, it was $10.79, which are crazy for you shirts, but he really needed some. And to buy them online, they were even more. And these were in really good condition. So I washed them already. I just need to spray them down with some steam cleaner. All 100% cotton. I guess I should fold them. This next one does not have a pocket. I really wasn't gonna take a chance on it, but it was only $4.99 and it's the exact cotton. Now this one is a 2LT tall Ralph Lauren. And it's got a pink, which he loves pink, a navy check. It's very summery, it's very big. Um, but he loves it and it was $4.99, so I had to take a shot with that. The next one they had marked for $12.99 and it has a giant hole. So I asked um, the lady working on the floor, she said, just go up and ask a manager and see what they can do for you. They might not be able to do anything. They might 
do something. This is a little bit more lightweight and it does have a pocket. Um, this one is a 3XLT tall. Um, the, the hole I should be able to fix. I'm not the best with a needle. Um, I used to have a sewing machine that's a lot better, obviously. So there's a few holes down um, where the button placard is, but I think, I think we'll be fine. They're so far down, you'll never be able to tell. This one is like that material that has no form. <laughs> he really likes these, especially for the very hot days if he's outside. So they gave me this one. I think he said something like, we'll give it to you at base price. I don't know base price is exactly what he said, but something like that. So I was like, okay, what's base price? And I said 519, so done. And the last item for him is not clothing. It was a Ralph Lauren bright pink, bubblegum pink hand towel. Again, his favorite color. This nice cotton tried and true, true Ralph Lauren. They wanted, I think, $1.99 for this. So I did pick this up and he was pretty excited about it. The man loves pink. Let's go to my items. I love this. I already washed everything and I used this yesterday at the pool. It barely fits around me. That was one of the things I, I needed it to fit around me because it's amazing, but I wanted it to be useful. So it is Dundee, 100% cotton made in the USA. It's clearly vintage, probably 80s, I would say, from the pastel colors, I would say, on the screen print. I, I could frame this and be happy my whole life here. Did I need a towel? Not necessarily, but I didn't not need a towel. Not not need it. I could always use more towels. <laughs> We're hard on towels. So this will be my my make me feel better towel. I love it. I want to take it everywhere. The next thing I got, I did get for me, it's a little tight, and that's because it's a child's dress. It is a XXL, so it's an 18. It's reading even smaller. Hold on. So it has a sash. It's Child Nation, it's called. Wonder, Wonder Nation. I don't know if that's Target or Walmart, but it fits really close to perfect. And I have been losing quite a bit of weight, not on purpose. So I think I'll be okay. It's so pretty, isn't it so pretty? It's tiered, I could twirl in it. I don't know, it's so pretty. I have no idea where I'm gonna wear it. I just bought things that made me happy. <laughs> uh, two notepads. One, a little Vespa scooter sticky pad, 50 printed sheets, 99 cents. The on the go page, Stanley Miller for Two's Company. It originally retailed for $4.59. There's a lot of stickers on it, but um, I'll just, you know, when I, when I sticky note things, I'll be like, hey, I'm Melissa. Sign my name. And then a whole pad of Lily Pulitzer, again, 99 cents. This has some of the flags, some, sometimes I just need a little bit of a sticky note. So this is perfect. I will go through these quickly. Are we down to the things I bought for reselling? I didn't recognize what that is. No, also my phone is- Red sticks last night. Hey. <laughs> I was watching TikTok. <laughs> um, other items for myself. I was thrilled to find these because I have been needing uh, bobby pins for so long, especially because I cut my hair so short. I need to have it cleaned up by a professional at this point. But um, these hair pins, I only have one hair pin left out of my whole life. So these were $1.99. It was a very heavy and full box. They're the real deal. They're like heavy brass, nice big size. I 
like hairpins more than bobby pins. I feel like they just stay in there. I was thrilled. I almost didn't want to look it up on eBay, but I was like, oh, my mom would say to look it up. And they were only going for like $8 a box. I'm like, I can keep it. Keep my, my hairpins. Seriously dramatic. Next, <laughs> socks. Specifically socks that have this, because I went for a walk last week and my gait, my gait, when I walk, I somehow, both ankles were bloody on the inside. I came home, just little spots of like peeled off skin. The following day, I put band-aids, I went back out for a walk. I've been walking a lot for some reason. I've been feeling good enough to walk. I was gonna ask Bear if he wanted to go for a walk tonight. Um, I think just losing a little bit of weight and feeling a little better in summer, I'm hoping it stays, but you never know. Also, it's very dark in here. Yeah. Um, these are 100% cotton and had a little bit of elastic and they just, they're cotton. And it's hard to find and I don't have socks um, that come up to cover the wound. So anytime I knock into them, they re-bleed. It's just a mess. So I open the package, the package is probably somewhere there. I'm like, great, some basic socks. And on the bottom, of course, says 2020, the year that gave us the finger. I don't want these socks, but they're perfect for what I want. They were 99 cents, they were brand new. I've already washed them and they've washed up beautifully. Actually, I've washed them twice. Um, and here's why I needed these. I sold my other sneakers. I made a profit on them. I sold them for like 40 something dollars. They were Z coils. I thought the Z coils would be better for me, but they weren't. I wasn't stable enough. So came around the corner. If you don't know what this is, it is Vionic and they went to $12.99. Did I see what they wanted for the rest of this stuff? I think my fish towel was $2.99. The orange dress they had marked as a woman's dress and because I was fighting them on other things, um, I just paid the $6.99. I was like, whatever, it's gonna be for me anyway. Or just to decorate my closet until it sells. So these were $12.99. This was an, a stellar um, condition. You can see they now have some use. I've used them twice. I think twice. Uh, size 9, my size. They're not wide, but they didn't need to be, shockingly. I'm usually a 9 wide. Again, it could be a little bit of losing weight. So these usually go for about $100. So $12.99, all mine. And Bear's like, they're even aqua. I'm like, where are they aqua? He's like, this part here, the laces, like that's yellow. Like, no, straight up, that's just yellow. I don't know. My receipt. Okay, now for things that I didn't purchase for me, I purchased to resell. Let's get those off of there. This is Victoria's Secret Angels. Uh, one of their older pieces, the silk has like a stiffness to it. It's really pretty. Now there are a few little food marks. It looks like it really looks like food marks, which is cracking me up that somebody ate in this. Good for you, person eating in silk. I can't do it. So it is a nightgown, obviously. It's a size, what size are you? Um, the dry cleaning tag is still on there. I think it's a medium. It is a medium. Really pretty pink. The straps go around and then tie up the back. And then there's like this half bow. There's like a half bow sash attached to one. I don't know if the other side was supposed to be attached or has just fallen. I bet you it was supposed to be attached, but now it kind of looks cool like that with some lace around it. It's really nice. If I was like any kind of person who would not just destroy this immediately, I'd keep it. It's so pretty. I, I just keep saving that piece. <laughs> and that was, I want to say like 4.79 ish This was 5.15, 5 519 Bowden. It is the US 12. So it's a 
pretty standard blouse shirt, uh, white with like a navy or black lettering. And then you read, and I, I could not get it. Okay, so it says, Bob's your uncle. <laughs> what? Bob's your uncle, lovely day, super smashing, great. Oh, crumbs. Like, so it's all things to say about your day like super smashing great and lovely day and that's basically it until you get to Bob's your uncle so I can't tell is Bob's your uncle another way to say your day's going well because if so Bob's your uncle I loved it I didn't even comp it that's how much I loved it like oh that shirt's coming home with me so Goodwill has they're old labels, which they schooled me at because I haven't been there in forever, that look like this. So there's a SKU and $3.99 apparel. And then they have new labels, which look like this. It, right on top of the old label, there's now a QR code. So I found a bunch of items, I guess were older, and she's like, wow, you're finding all the older items that they wouldn't sell me for this price. And I was like, this is crazy. Like, a couple of the shirts were priced. And she's like, oh, this shirt should have been $10 and it's $4.99. I'm like, yeah, but it says $4.99. So I had to get a manager involved. I was really sweet. Even the lady next to me was like, what is happening? <laughs> Goodwill. So this is one that worked in my favor, though. So I would have paid gladly $3.99 for this Eileen West Dream Time Jersey Blue and White gorgeous that it's just so nice feeling long nightgown um, brand new with tags all over this one was originally $50 it looks like it was sold at Macy's um, they're selling for about 60 to $65 so $3.99 would paid she charged me $1.99 and, and because I had like fought on the other ones I'm like I'm okay paying $3.99 and now sure enough she didn't want to do that so I paid a dollar ninety-nine. So there's that. Makes up for the child's dress being in the woman's category with the price. Okay. This is an official Y2K dress, Amy's closet. There is no size tag, that doesn't bother me. They said it was a small. $6.99. Look at that. Couldn't you see this in the 90s being worn over jeans? <laughs> How in 2000s is this? <laughs> I totally would have worn this to like probably college first semester we didn't really have dances because it was a bible school but um i love it y2k is back officially if you use y2k especially on this kind of stuff there's like so many layers um of just cut material uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna put this up high. I really think I'm gonna put this up for like $49.99. That's not so high, but it's just quintessential. I lived through this. I wore this kind of stuff. I'm still saving this one. Two bras, each were $239. Both of them are the Soma um, 36 I have to check that one on that one. They are the Vanishing Back Full Coverage, which does really well. They're in good shape. Somebody else was going through bras and she was telling her husband, she obviously sells online, about selling bras online. And I can't believe she missed these because these should bring about $20 a bra. I might lock them up if they're the same size and just like $35, good enough. Vanishing Back Full Coverage, $30. 6C. Is that what I said? The last one? Yeah. So they're both the front closure. They're both that like beigey color that people usually call nude. But of course everybody's nude's different. Would they be my nude? Maybe. I don't know. They've got wires. 
I'm not a wire girl. Then I got a couple more pairs of shoes. I got these, what are these called? Jambu, J-A-M-B-U, memory foam footbed, brand new. These usually retail for probably like $64 to $74. Goodwill wanted nine. And because we are going into summer and people are going to need comfortable shoes, start traveling again, I picked them up. They're also my size. <laughs> kind of cute. They remind me of a butterfly. I realized the other day as I got dressed to go meet up with my husband who was singing, I just wanted to sit there for like half hour, 45 minutes and listen to him sing. Oh, so good. He's so good. Um, that I wanted to put on a dress. So then I went to Target and got a dress. It's the cutest dress that's smocked and then I need a belt. So I went through my, my eBay inventory and found a belt that fit and I felt so cute. I just felt so cute, especially with my hair being so short. It was like all cute. Can I use that word anymore? And then I put Birkenstocks on because I literally didn't have anything else. I would have put these on because these are a slight step up from Birkenstocks, but still comfort. But I'll sell them since we're past that. These are also nice. You could just tell from the leather. They're size 10, $6.99, Goodwill Wanted. Uh, they're real leather, I'm gonna say. They've gotta be real leather. Made in Spain leather. T-A-O-S, Taos. I'll show them. So they're kind of like this terracotta color and our strappy, lots of adjustments. There's adjustment there, adjustment there, um, a buckle there. I love when you can really customize around your foot and the, the arch is so nice. It's not super plush, but it's nice. Love both of those. Okay, last one was a yellow tag, so it's half off. So 519 for t-shirts. Okay, good, well, but half off, so that's, that's a little better, and it's brand new. It is the Solar Art by American Wholesale. Image changes color in the sun. So it is a parrot. Get out of their tags. Living it up in paradise, and then on the sleeve, it has Seminole Casino Hotel. That part doesn't matter. But I'm gonna go take it out in the sun and come back because it's magical. It's magical, magical. I'll be right back. I'll take for proof. For proof. The sun already kind of went down, but it did, it went away. You're just gonna have to trust me. There's bright pink and blues. I'll try to pop in a photo tomorrow. So I think that's everything. I realized after I put everything away and washed it that I wanted to collect everything and do a haul. That's a fish in the background. Um, I think that's it. $105. I was wondering if I was missing anything, but I was very happy with that because I think I can sell this shirt for probably $14.99. The shoes I'm planning on selling for probably $34.99 and probably about the same $34.99, so $70 and then $80 with the top. The bras, let's say even $30, it's $110. This, let's even say it brings $30, $10, $140, $140. This should bring 60, so we're up to 200. This I'm gonna ask 24, I should be able to get 15 or 20. I might pretend to try it on, but in my head I, I have no reason to wear it, so 220. This I should be able to get, it's really nice, but there are a few little marks. I'm gonna try it for 15. So 135, these are mine. These are mine. Hairpins, all mine. The dress I'll eventually sell because, again, it just doesn't... My bust is a little big. <laughs> but it is super cute. It's 
It's also a little short. I mean, not on most people, but it's like four inches above my my knee. So even if I got 10 bucks for that, that's, that's what that is. And then I think we're keeping the rest, except for that one shirt with the fish, this, these fish. So I should make easily over $200. Uh, what was this, 105? Which doesn't sound like a lot, but we are keeping a good bit. Oh, I have a present for somebody. I wrote up a card and put stickers and like sheet masks and a couple dollars. And I wanted to give it to her. Okay, so what do we have in these bags? Ah, part of my mom's, mom's day present. Um, scrapers for small bottles. If you've ever watched Shark Tank, they had a Spatty Daddy and a Spatty Daddy Junior or something. And oh, basically they're just silicone little spatulas in different shapes. So you can get the last of your foundation, the last of this. So that's going to my mom. And this I'm curious, it's supposed to help exfoliate all the dead Skin. Sounds gross. Um, and it is a traditional Moroccan hammam glove. Had really good reviews. So I'm going to try that for summer skin. Let's see. Fun. I think it's more of these. <laughs> I bought some for my, me too. Different, different brands. I wanted my mom to have the four pack, but I did not need the four pack for myself. So I want the cheaper ones. Use the spatula head to scrape the sides and bottoms of your bottles, maximizing the use of beauty products and lotions. And these were, I think, $6.99, I want to say. And you get the small one, which is the one I will be using the most. And then I'm going to give the big one to Bear. He's going to love it. This is right up Bear's alley. And for any of the bigger creams he uses. So there's the haul. It was very fun to go. I was very warm because mask, I've not worn a mask for that long, but not complaining. So that's all my stuff. So that was the Goodwill on Cortez in Bradenton. They have a Goodwill and you can see the prices and then they have a boutique. I didn't really go through the boutique that much. I found Lily Pulitzer shorts and that day I just happened to buy be wearing some vintage Lily Pulitzer shorts. Um, they were size 10 though, and I like mine really oversized so I can cuff them. I think I'd be okay with them, but they wanted $20, so <laughs> not doing that. But for my husband, steal. The end. <laughs> I am going to put all of this stuff away and then come back for a jewelry boxing unboxing. Okay. Bye. I hope she liked your card.